Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to 10 years on and today we are looking at Karim Adeyemi, a fantastic young player uh, from RB Salzburg. But before we jump into things and take a deeper look, make sure you like and subscribe to get more content like this and leave in the comments any ideas for players you want to see in the next few videos. But like you say, Karim Adeyemi, Red Bull Salzburg, uh, who create players like it's going out of business, to be quite honest. Uh, incredible stuff. They've got some top, top talent, and Adeyemi is probably the pick of the bunch at the moment. Valued at 8 million to 24 million with a wage of 7,000 pounds. He's on the cheap side, to be quite honest, for the value you get. Uh, acceleration, pace, absolute speed demon uh, with fantastic mentals as well for the age. Uh, technicals, room for improvement with finishing wise if you do want to play him as a striker, uh, but playing him on the on the wings is probably his best attribute at the start anyway until he improves that. You can see that he has obviously been at Salzburg for a long, long time following his £2.7 million move from Unterhaching in Germany. Uh, but there you go. I mean, he's been on loan to Lifrang, who's obviously Salzburg's kind of feeder lower team for a while uh, and performed very, very well for the first team as well over the last couple of years. And in real life, playing in the Champions League he's been absolutely phenomenal banging in the goals like it, nobody's business so we'll take a look 10 years on and see how he's got on here we are then and to be quite honest it's no real surprise that he's at Bayern Munich it's where the Germans go if they want to play play top level football and I mean he's lived up to his expectations I'd say 134 million pound valuation now rising to 401 million which is I mean quite ridiculous to be honest uh, 29 years old and 325 thousand pounds in wages obviously can't make appearances for the German and national team but I would have expected he would have done if they could uh, but otherwise he's still got the pace his mentals have increased loads his finishing has got a lot better going up to 14 but some great dribbling penalty taking technique stats as well uh, a player that is just phenomenal on the ball as well with that vision and off the ball as well he's got some very very nicely rounded stats there uh, if we take a look at his career wow okay so it was a 32.5 million pound move from Salzburg to Tottenham not long after the first season where he he did okay nothing spectacular but he did okay in the Premier League but it was the £127 million move to Germany and Bayern Munich that's really set his career on fire. Banging in the goals, banging in the assists. He's been absolutely fantastic. This season, he's dropped off slightly, only playing 19 games for Bayern Munich, but still scoring six goals and getting an assist along the way. Uh, but £127 million is quite the ridiculous amount of money. Uh, has he won anything? Did he win anything at Tottenham? That's like a big, big question because it'd be quite impressive if he did. Um, <laughs> let's take a look then. So you can see here he's won the Austrian FA Cup uh, and the Austrian Premier Division Championship in the first two seasons with Salzburg, as you can see. But then in 2024, it was where he... In 2023, in fact, where he didn't actually win anything um, for Tottenham. I, not to be harsh, but it's not surprising. It's Tottenham. Um, <laughs> he was originally bought for 72 million, which rose to 142 million, I guess, with the add-ons. Um, he instantly won the German Super Cup with Bun Bayern Munich. Won the Pokal, the Bundesliga, and the Super Cup again in the season after, getting inducted into Bayern. Bayern's overall best 11, the season best 11, uh, and the newcomer of the year, which is very cool. Um, and he was also got third place in the Champions League as best forward. Uh, he then went on to get the Bundesliga and German Super Cup. I mean, it's not surprising that it looks like he will have just won the Bundesliga every season from then on. Yeah, it looks like it. And the Pokal, to be honest. He's been in lots of lots of um, player of the years, world team of the years, all that stuff. You can see he got world golden ball runner up. So that's not a bad bad going in 2029. Uh, and then the year after, in fact, they won the Champions League. They won everything. They did the, the quadruple, as you could say. The European Super Cup, um, the German Super Cup, the European Champions Cup, which is the Champions League, and the Bundesliga. If they'd have won the Pokal, that would have been quite something. Uh, but they decided to do it this year instead. <laughs> there you go. Um, he's named in Bayern's best 11 as well, of course. Awards, though, as we saw, it looks like he's he's done well for Bayern. I mean, he's in a lot of, lot of teams for them. 
Now, you can see inducted into Tottenham's overall best 11 within the first season. Would be interesting to see if he's still there, if his contributions are there. But, I mean, it's quite ridiculous. Look at how many awards and stuff he's won. Named in European Champions League, Dream Team, uh, Midfielder of the Season runner-up. So that's interesting. He's been deemed as a Midfielder of the Season. He was shortlisted for the World Footballer of the Year last year, which is quite cool. Uh, and obviously named in Bayern's overall 11. So very, very good, I have to say. I mean, he's he's it's expected, isn't it? You see the stats at the beginning. You see them now. Of course, he's worth a lot of money, but that's why you've got to get him early because otherwise you'll be paying what Bayern had to pay to bring him from Tottenham. But get him early and he could be an absolute star for you. But like I say, I'll leave it there. Leave any ideas for any other players in the comments as always. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.